Because in cloud we had some, we had more issues than, than, than this one. It's just running uh, smooth. And the issue did we had was uh, was not typical OCI cloud. It was more application-wise, performance-wise, that kind of things. Uh, we had, you have root access with virtual machine. Uh, it is an, uh, you can install every application uh, you would like there on it. Another positive thing is the uh, universal credits in combination with the monthly flex. Um, you pay per OCP per hour. Um, with the monthly flex, you choose uh, an amount, a monthly amount uh, that you will have to pay each month. That's, uh, that's for sure. But with that money, you can do whatever you want within the OCI environment. You can, you can choose to have two compartments, four compartments, eight compartments. That does not uh, hire your cost directly. Uh, you can choose for more storage, other versions, more OCPU with a restore or what uh, Elon just told the, the method. That's up to you. You pay what you are using. For example, when you use uh, in a particular amount more than your monthly amount, then you have to pay extra only for that month. The next month it will just level up to the old amount. Um, for example, the price per month with an uh, enterprise edition high performance, which in our situation is running 24 seven, you pay about 700 euros per month per OCP. And then it's, it's 24, but when using standard edition, also running 24-7, you pay about 170 euros a month per OCP. So it's, uh, those prices per o OCP per hour, they are there in the manual. There is a pricing list and you can look into it. Our non-production environment who just runs on the working days. Yes, yes, yes of course. Said, just for your day, right? Or also for the other of the amount is OCP and 10% is storage and data transfer also, but it's, it's, it's a small part. Yeah. 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 It's called, it's called a bucket. A non-production environment, uh, a compartment, we, we bring it down every night and in the, in the, in the weekend, non-working hours. So it's off your line. Yeah, and y you can do that from an external server. There is documentation, some uh, some OCI curl scripting uh, possible, 
you run it from an external server and you can you can stop and start an OCI cloud uh, server. Okay, and now there's an enterprise manager console with a performance pack because we have a high performance uh, version. And there is an OCI console where you can uh, manage your, your infrastructure and your database control. Okay. Sounds good. I hope any questions or how we could it configure and how it looks like. So what we did, we made some screenshots because we did not rely on the network here. <laughs> but I know it's not performing very well and it doesn't say anything about the cloud, but say more about the network here. Therefore, some screenshots. With our explanation. Yes. Okay. Um, first, the, the application for capacity. Um, start with a little story. Okay? When an employee calls in sick in the Netherlands, um, every employer is legally required to report their calls call in a health and safety service. Here in Holland we call that an Arbodies. And during the sickness period there are appointments, the doctors, case managers, medical advisors, and of course with the employee and the employer. And in this uh, process, there's medical and non-medical data involved. Information about the state of every sickness are received from and distributed to uh, different external systems. So what do we do with in capacity? We developed an application to support that whole absence process. And we make sure that the employer and health and safety service can do everything that is required of them by the Dutch law. So I'll show you some few screens of this application. It's, it's Apex 504. Okay. Uh, so there are different kind of application users, uh, such as case managers, I told you, uh, the company doctor or the employer itself. The applications separate them by a role, and every role has its own dashboard. So here you see the dashboard of the employer, where he can view his, em his own employees and, his, and administers the sickness. You can also see if there are appointments with a company doctor, view or even uh, start a survey, and yeah, see some reporting. Well, the employer can zoom in on the sickness file of the employee. On the left side, you see a timeline of all the activity within the sickness file such as contact moments and start date of the sickness and different tasks he has to do and the different uh, documents involved. On the right screen there is more detail of what you should The case manager uh, of the health and safety service has many more options in the application. In this example uh, we are locked in as a kind of super user with all the available options in the application. The most uh, used options are the calendar for the appointments with the company doctors and master data management for uh, the master data of the application such as users and security and companies and the uh, omission of course for the sickness file okay. now this is uh, the login for the oracle cloud the oci console when you, uh, after you log in, um, well, this is your dashboard. Um, on the left side, on the top of the screen, there is a menu. And within all those screens for the OCI, we really use two menu items. Not only, not, not on a daily basis, but there's no more options we need. I'll show you uh, this one, this is the here you go to your database, sort of your uh, compartments your, where your databases are running. Also for the bare metal and the extra data for our virtual machines also. So here you see uh, you can choose your compartments with your database environment in it. And all, all on the right side, of course, the details. Um, so let's zoom into our main production environment. 
called Compacity Plus, very original. Um, you can see there's one node on the left side, on the bottom of the screen, there's one node and one database in it. Um, let's click on the node. You see again some more detailed information when you, for example, when you need to log a search request for support, they ask all that kind of questions. What, what availability domain do you have? What OSIT do you use? Oh, that's, that's all. Why did you put your database in your progress server? Sorry? Why did you, why did you, progress, why did you put your database in your progress server? Why did you I don't know. You only have to put your, 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 your compute instances with context in server server. If you should migrate with your database with your private server, now it's available from the internet. Now we, yeah, we have white listing with all the with all the IP addresses and the security listed. Mm -hmm. You have a it's a private network. But, but, but still, your database now has a public. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know which way. I'm, I'm not the, the network man in our company, so I don't know which way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You can create a PCM yeah. with public and a private subnet. And when you create a private subnet, when you create a database in the private subnet, the database doesn't get public, uh, the public IP okay. address. Yeah. And if you create a, a compute in a public subnet, it gets a public, um, a public IP address. Uh, connect your Tomcat with your database within OCI, but not from outside. The, uh, you, you cannot go uh, from, from outside the network to the database. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought uh, that's the yeah. answer. Yeah. 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 We take it back home. Okay. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now here's some options. Uh, when you click on the right uh, dot on the right side of the screen, uh, you have some options uh, for that component. So you can stop or start a reboot, in this case the node. Okay. Um, you can also scale up your, uh, <coughs> your storage. You cannot scale up your CPU as you wish. But, well, in, this, uh, in our situation we can scale up to about 40 uh, terabytes for uh, storage. This is the detailed screen of the database. Um, there are also some options on the right screen uh, on, top of the, on, the, on the bottom. Uh, create a manual database where you have uh, enabled automatic backup. But you can also create manual backup, restore it, or even enable data guards. And uh, apply tags. Tags is a possibility to for every component in your OCI environment. And uh, you can use it, for example, for uh, when you want some details in your billing, you can choose a, a special tag if you want only info about that tag. Here we have the database screen itself, uh, where you can see all the automatic uh, backups. An option of that backup is then that you can create a new database. That's the example below the hard drive set. You can also see the available patches uh, Oracle provides. On the left side, uh, there's an option for patches. Um, Oracle automatically shows all the available uh, patches. And for patch, uh, you first do a, you can after do a pre check if your environment is ready for it. And it's acting normal on it. Uh, you can do that on the fly, but the patch itself, of course, not. If the system is going down during the patch. Okay, the, the second menu item we use is, uh, is the billing. <laughs> so, uh, in this example, you see uh, you can choose the period where you want to uh, see your billing. At the bottom of the screen, the costs are divided in costs made for the storage, the data transfer, and for your OCP. 
So here you can see a little bit about the difference, uh, how much it costs for the OCPU and how much for the storage and data transfer. In this mount, for example, we spend a little bit more than Ford, but that happened only that month, that was the next month it was. Okay, this is uh, some screens of the Enterprise Manager console. It looks very like uh, the normal Enterprise Manager or the grid control. Um, after you configured it, you can now, of course, log in. We have two types. <laughs> Use the right browser. You have two types of login. And the left one is for the, uh, uh, the container database. And the, the right side is for each pluggable database. It's, you can you can create a configure for each pluggable database. In our situation, it was for each <coughs> customer. You can create your own enterprise manager console. It, it runs on a different uh, port. <coughs> okay. Well, the typical enterprise manager dashboard. You can zoom in every detail, uh, scroll sessions. And the beauty of this screen, because we lost him here now in the container one, it's not in the pluggable, but in the container, uh, is that you have a, a few of the most heavy used container databases. You can, you can see all the containers running. Right, right on top of that are our top containers. Um, and you can quickly see what's happening. Well, these are the options you have within the Enterprise Manager Console. So you have to do it with this. Well, in the Performance Hub, it's, uh, you can zoom in on every period you would like. Details, there's uh, automatic SQL tuning. Show you the top SQLs you can implement some uh, recommendations or you, you do not. Yes, that through this screens we, we found that performance issue came up, so we can use it. <coughs> 